I call Jamie Lee Ross. That is going to help him fill the deputy leader's spot on the Labour Party. I'd suggest he actually does a next magazine photo shoot in black and white polka dots because he'll probably have more chance of getting there if he does that. Mr Speaker, I'm happy to stand on behalf of the Government as a National Member of Parliament to support this bill because it sits alongside a whole suite of measures that this Government has to try and tackle housing affordability and assist New Zealanders to get into their first home. Mr Speaker, the, the Opposition are, are trying to make big speeches about this bill and say that it will do nothing and that it's not going to help Aucklanders get into homes or help New Zealanders at all um, get into homes. The fact of the matter is, Mr Speaker, this is part of a large number of changes. And in fact, Mr Speaker, it's not a new tax, Mr Speaker, it's not a new tax that the government is considering. It's in fact an enforcement or, and a clarification of existing tax rules. And Mr Speaker, this bill allows the IRD and Land Information New Zealand to provide greater clarification and to enforce in a much better way the existing tax rules that are in place. So, Mr Speaker, when the opposition wants to stand up and say this bill will do nothing, one, they're false, and two, Mr Speaker, when the opposition does look at this bill, they must look at it in the context of all of the housing changes that this government has been making and will continue to make to make housing more affordable for New Zealanders. Mr Speaker, I have to say, whenever I listen to speeches from the Labour Party about housing, I'm left wondering what do they actually stand for? Does the Labour Party actually ever offer any policy? Does the Labour Party actually ever offer any solutions to those who are looking to buy their first home, to those who are looking to see housing become more affordable in Auckland? Mr Speaker, on Tuesday night next week, I'm going to be very proud to stand alongside Nick Smith in my electorate when he talks to first home buyers about initiatives this government has underway to support first home buyers and help them get into houses. I'd like to hear Phil Twyford actually offer solutions. I'd like to hear Clayton Cosgrove do something other than his grumpy old man routine and actually talk about solutions for New Zealanders. Mr Speaker, the only solution we've heard from the Labour Party was to build 100,000 houses at a cost of $300,000 a house when the cost of buying a section in Auckland is more than the cost of the house they were proposing to sell to people. And Mr Speaker, they also like to attack the government on our plans to open up Crown land for housing development in Auckland. But Mr Speaker, if they felt they could identify and build 100,000 houses in 10 years, how were they expecting to do it? They cannot stand on the one, on the one point and say, we oppose the government opening up Crown land for housing, but on the same time saying they were going to offer and build 100,000 houses themselves. It simply doesn't add up. Mr Speaker, I'm glad that, I'm glad that the opposition is supporting this bill. They should support this bill because New Zealanders do want to see greater clarification around the existing tax rules. I have to say, though, when they say we have done nothing to try and tax speculators, they are again wrong. Because, Mr Speaker, in Budget 2010, the government allocated $33 million to the enforcement of the existing tax rules around property. Mr Speaker, that $33 million investment in greater enforcement has actually led to a quarter of a billion dollars in additional tax coming in. And Mr Speaker, off the back of that, the government has also allocated a further $30 million in Budget 2015. So absolutely we believe that those who are property speculators and are not complying with their tax obligations should be targeted. That is exactly what we're doing. And Mr Speaker, alongside that enforcement uh, measures that we are taking, we're also making it easier for New Zealanders to understand the rules and ensure that they are complying with them. The bright line test of two years, which will enable New Zealanders to know exactly when they are trading property within that two year period, will help them ensure that they comply with their tax obligations. And this bill, which provides the ability uh, and also requirements on top of New Zealanders to provide better information is important. Mr Speaker, I would like to say to Mr Phil Twyford that there is, there is something I do want to stand alongside Nick Smith and also support, 
And that's the fact that Phil Twyford is actually xenophobic when he talks about the when he goes out into Auckland and whips up the anti-foreign sentiment. He didn't like the, the minister talking about him and his views as being xenophobic, but he shouldn't be ashamed to be called xenophobic because that is what he actually has been doing. They would rather go out into Auckland and go and harass my constituents, harass my constituents that just want to go about their own business and buy and sell properties. They want to target those people. They want to harass anyone that doesn't look like him and say that they shouldn't be purchasing properties. Because, Mr Speaker, when he does go out in the media and he does go out and talks to Aucklanders and tries to whip up the anti-foreigner sentiment, he forgets that, that New Zealand and Auckland is such a multicultural place. The reason why he is doing this is because it's cheap politics. He's got nothing else to talk back about. To the bill. And, Mr Speaker, they should actually be supporting the initiatives we got underway. This policy change and this bill will actually help us to ensure that we can enforce our current tax measures and that we can ensure that those that wish to property speculate, there's greater enforcement around it. Mr Speaker, it stands alongside our special housing area policies, which is leading to tens of thousands of houses being built in New Zealand. It stands alongside the Home Start scheme, which is seeing 90,000 New Zealanders being able to get an access to a deposit to be able to afford their first home. It stands alongside our schemes such as opening up Crown land to develop on, and it stands alongside schemes such as those that we have in Tamaki to build 7,500 houses on, on properties that currently owe, has 2,500 houses. Mr Speaker, we are a government that is doing what is necessary to help New Zealanders get into their first home. Homes under Labor doubled in the time they are in office. They cannot claim to be holier than thou and say they have all the answers when their track record is so poor. Mr Speaker, New Zealanders know that we are working on this issue and we are tackling them. New Zealanders know that housing over time will become more affordable for them. We are standing behind Order. first home buyers. We are working to assist them. Yeah, that's right. I call Dr Russell Norman.